why is regional air travel still so broken? Thank you for asking that question, I would say. So, LAT's philosophy is quite simple and this is what it is. So, if you want breakthroughs, don't optimize the past. Design the future. LAT, Aerospace, just pulled the covers of one of the most ambitious aviation projects India has ever seen. A hybrid electric eight-seater STOL aircraft designed to take off from the kind of ultra-short runways that crisscross India's forgotten geographies. LAT has unveiled a stunning physical scale model crafted with its first principles precision, showing exactly how India's first hybrid electrical STOL platform will look fly and operate. This aircraft is well clearly built for air stops, compact landing spaces, no bigger than well a parking lot. The model displayed at LAT's research and development facility is actually a true beauty. Sleek black exterior, red tinted propellers, high lift wings and eight distributed electric motors engineered to lift fast, land short and cruise efficiently. So, what does that mean? Hybrid electric power which is equals to battery burst power for takeoff combustion engines for long range, lower emissions, lower fuel burn, higher frequency operations. This is definitely aviation redesigned for India, not borrowed from the West. So, LAT's philosophy is quite simple and this is what it is. So, if you want breakthroughs, don't optimize the past. Design the future, end quote, beautifully said. Everything is actually built from scratch. Physics models, Monte Carlo simulators, autonomous pilot assist, hybrid electric ground architecture, control systems, safety models, built-in autonomy from day one, stability control, flight assistance and collision avoidance to make operations safe, scalable and future ready. So basically, in Surubo Dis, uh, sorry, Surubo Das's words, this is what it is. We've moved into our new 50,000 square feet research and development headquarters in Gurgaon. It's actually a really exciting time to be building with us. Inside that facility, LAT is actually setting up a full-fledged powertrain lab, HILS, which is basically a hardware in loop simulation, a wind tunnel, yes, you heard that right, their own avionics testing rigs, prototyping bays, tooling units. So, LAT's founders actually say the question that started it all was quite very simple, which is, why is regional air travel still so broken? Thank you for asking that question, I would say. India has 450 plus airstrips, only 150 sea commercial flights, meaning two-thirds of India's aviation potential still actually sits unused. LAT wants to flip that on its head. Think buses in the sky, high-frequency, short-haul, affordable flights connecting towns, districts and rural hubs. Basically, four hours by road will actually come down to 25 minutes by air. This could change actually how India moves. LAT says, the first technology demonstrators are being built right now as we speak. Flight testing will begin soon. So from there, what will happen is this. Industrial partnerships will lead to production ramp, will lead to certification, will finally lead to commercial service. All backed by actually India's growing aerospace talent pool. LAT is hiring across every hard engineering function. Aerodynamics, hybrid electric systems, gas turbines, avionics hardware, well, the kind of roles that shape nations, not applications. So, here is what the quote says. If you're a polymath who wants to do cool shit, that is what was said by Surbi. She actually goes on to say, come, build this with us. That's encouraging. India's aviation infrastructure is actually expanding fast, which is new GA terminals in Delhi, Mumbai, Kochi, Hyderabad, aircraft leasing hubs in Gift City, regulatory backing for private and regional aviation, rising UHNI population, huge demand for point-to-point -point short haul mobility. But unfortunately, tech hasn't kept pace with this demand. That's where 
LAT steps into engineer aircraft design for India's geography, climate density and economics. So basically, finally, LAT Aerospace is building a movement. Decentralized aviation, hybrid electric mobility, point-to-point -point connectivity. Fly from where you actually live. Infrastructure, India's densest regional air network, a category India leads, not follows. This is actually aviation reimagined. Built in India, for in India and scalable globally. The question now actually is, which is, Will LAT's hybrid electric STOL become the blueprint for the next generation of mobility or the biggest aviation bet India has ever attempted? Well, please do let us know what you think.